what's going on skf here and welcome back to another video on the channel so today we do have this 81 ahmed musa team of the week card and it still looks very good with the uh high pace uh but he did get downgraded three star weak foot and three star skills which kind of sucks and he is uh much harder to link because he moved to the saudi league so yeah this uh musa card does have that 94 pace 80 shooting 70 passing 80 dribbling and 62 physical so some good stats here especially in terms of agility and speed and uh, he also doesn't have too bad of finishing either so uh, he is a natural striker uh, his base card is a striker so uh, this is a position change to the left wing and uh, yeah still very good because of the pace so uh, this is the team we did use him in alongside the uh, Giuliano and I believe that's Carlos Eduardo uh, to get him the strong links and the links and uh, we hybrided it with some uh, Premier League players so uh, yeah this Musa card was still very enjoyable even without the three star skills you could definitely feel it uh, he wasn't as overpowered I feel like because he couldn't dribble through um, as effectively because he only does have the uh, 76 ball control and 78 dribbling but uh, I think the agility still just keeps him um, really usable because of uh, the 91 agility and 90 balance. He's still very good uh, moving away from the defenders with the ad the agility and balance. Uh, but yeah, his pace, of course, is his main uh, main stat. He has 96 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. And uh, all you really have to do is play through ball to him, and he will just run onto it and uh, destroy your opponent. And uh, I think he would be best suited as a super sub. I think because um, once everyone gets tired, he's just deadly. Uh, but you can, of course, start him with that 97 stamina. He does not run out of energy, and he's always, always dangerous the full game. So I do like that about him. Very fast, very good agility and balance. Uh, not the best dribbling, and of course, with being 5'7", he only has 53 strength. So he does get bodied a lot by the defenders. So I wouldn't recommend trying to body up to the defenders um, too much, because he will get bodied. But um, if you can use the overpowered thing where you uh, run a bit slowly and then burst with his acceleration, his 96, 96 acceleration, it will be effective and he will get fouled. You can see in a lot of these clips, uh, he did get a lot of penalties because uh, of that pace. And that pace is really, really um, helpful. Uh, you can see here he's able to pace through, um, through the lines uh, very effectively um, with the 84 attack positioning. So very good positioning. Um, combined with that pace, it's just, like I said, so deadly. Uh, inside the box, he was very good. Uh, he had 81 finishing and 83 shot power, so pretty clinical. I believe he scored 13 goals out of 8 games, so that was pretty impressive. Uh, his 76 long shots aren't too great. 76 volleys as well, nothing too special there. Uh, but I think his best form of shooting is the finesse shot. He only has 67 curve, but um, definitely does have very good finesse shots and especially cutting inside from the wing very good on his right foot uh just to curl it into the top corner so yeah i really enjoyed this musa card um definitely not as much as the past fifas just because of the skill moves but definitely still a usable card and if you want to buy him like i said he's discard price uh on all platforms so you can get him uh just to put on the bench and sub him in to destroy your opponent so uh definitely usable i would definitely recommend him i still enjoyed him and uh, yeah, that's going to be my review, so please like this video, subscribe, and thank you for watching.